So for this video we're going to be drawing a, a cute little Massey Ferguson tractor and um, I'm actually going to be using a pencil to, to line this one up a little bit um, just because it's nice to mix things up a little bit. Now as always the uh, reference image is in the uh, description below and you can download that from my website. So I'm going to vaguely construct this now. Most of this is two point perspective in the sense of uh, they've got some horizontal lines coalescing on the left. Huh. So most of this is in rough two point perspective because it's basically boxes and smaller boxes as tractors tend to be made of. Um, and I'm going to cover perspective in a later tutorial. Um, but the other thing about tractors often is they've got big wheels, so it's it's quite important to get the ellipses right. I mean, not perfect, because it's a sketch, it's not a photograph, but get them vaguely right. Um, so that's why I'm going to the trouble of sort of constructing this one a little bit. So this isn't the most exciting bit of the drawing, so we're going to uh, just fast forward through some of these bits. Now, if you want to... Obviously, as I said before, you can download this and paint along with me, and that would be great, but you know, you're gonna be painting in your own style, so feel free to pause this. Okay, so this is, I'm, what I'm using here is a, a, pyro, a Pilot Parallel Pen, which I have modified um, into a sort of hockey stick nib, um, which gives you a nice irregular sketching line. It's like a food pen, F-U-D-E, but, a little bit more random which is quite nice um, so I'm using that to sketch in So as always, I'm sketching in some detail, uh, not doing absolutely everything. Just picking up on a few bits and bobs. And then starting to add in some more details of the cab. So in this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about judging other people. But now we're all guilty of this sometimes. We're all guilty of looking at the way somebody dresses or looking at what somebody's doing. And in our head, we have an inner dialogue that goes, oh, look at that whatever person, or, oh, I can't believe they're doing that. I think by judging and criticizing other people, even if you don't say it out loud, you're simply reaffirming and reinforcing your own negative thoughts and prejudices. So when you have that inner dialogue, when you go to the supermarket or the store, you know, and you're seeing the way someone's dressed or you're looking at somebody and they're doing something that you deem inappropriate and you have that voice in your head that goes, oh, look at them. And the same words come out, the same negativity comes out. I just think you've got to check that you know you've got to be really careful because that can be a self-perpetuating cycle of negativity but I do think that making assumptions about people whether it's their weight clothes or political views it confirms that a lot of your own anxiety is justified you know people who you judge as too lazy or can't parent or potential criminals or whatever um, it tends to be about your fears as much as it is about how somebody looks or how they're behaving. And it just 
perpetuates that negative fear cycle. So just to close on the idea of judgments, uh, you have to ask yourself, what good does judging other people do you? Um, and also, wouldn't it be better to try and see things from their point of view rather than just condemning them as Team Blue or Team Red? Now what I'm going to do here is I've been vaguely ghosting some of the areas, like the trees in the background and things like that, uh, just to give a feel for it. But I might actually get, paint those in in quite an abstract way. Um, I'm actually doing some... I do have a vague plan for this drawing, actually, is to... Um, I want to constrain the background within a masked area like a tighter square than the mount would sit on but then I want a few bits coming out of that uh, busting out of that mount and you'll see what I mean so I want some of the foliage busting out uh, and I'm going to draw the sky in quite a kind of expressive abstract way one of the nice things about farm machinery is they tend to be quite bright colours and even rust can real pop as a colour you know that real golden colour so I think it'll sit quite nicely with other bowl colours. Um, you know, if you're painting something quite delicately coloured, like a snow scene or something, you know, often a really bright colour pop can kind of be a bit too much of a bully. But, you know, old machinery, particularly like excavators and things where they're really bright yellow, you can get away with doing some quite bright things around them, if that makes sense. <laughs> So again here I'm just vaguely um, adding in some of the bits that are in the reference picture. I think there's like a bit of a barn there or like a collapsed roof or something. But I'm not being too specific. In fact, the weirder the better in a way. Okay, so I'm working on some of these um, bigger lines here. Starting to add, add a bit of extra line weight. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting interesting addition of sky here. I've decided to do something a little bit bold. I don't think it'll... I'm not sure whether it'll work or not, but when you have a big idea, the worst thing in the world is running out of ink uh, or watercolour. So I've got a vague idea in my mind here what's going on, but you'll see in a minute what's going to happen.
So I'm starting with a solid bit of blue on the right hand side there. I'm still having to mix some up because I've run out of now. And then I want some sort of bands here. But we come in less and less at that side. And I want it to look super gestural so I'm just splashing some bits about. So what about the tree I hear you say? I'm adding a little bit more up there just to bring that down, make it a bit darker. Well, for the tree, uh, I'm just going to go right over the top of that with some green. So then it's just a case of building up some of the foliage, uh, uh, adding in some of the um, uh, the shadow under the tractor, uh, some of the foliage on the right hand side, and then I'm going to paint in the tractor. So I think this is the, the bit of the, uh, the painting where it always looks a little bit ugly, like a little bit unfinished. Um, but it just needs some of the values working on. Uh, some of the dark bits darker, maybe some of the light bits a bit lighter. Um, but it's getting there. I'm just trying to get a bit more of a circular feel to these wheels. So a lot of these door seals actually do look black in the picture as you can see so I'm going to go and um, uh, and use the food pen to which you get a nice regular thick line with to add those in. Um, anyway there we go. So all in all I think that's worked out well. I love that crazy background that's really mad. Um, hope you got something from that I certainly enjoyed it and um, thank you for bearing with my nonsense one more time and see you next time happy drawings <laughs> <laughs>